everybody, Shakes here, and today we're going to be powering through some contracts and gathering up some science to get one step closer to getting to the moon. So let's get started. Now to begin with, um, I'm starting out with a simple uh, stack decoupler test. This doesn't give you too much, but it was something I could knock out fairly quickly. And one thing that I missed, which is usually one of the first steps that I do, is to get as much science as possible just from the launch pad. So here we've got a EVA report taking a surface sample. And then we jump back inside and take a crew report as well. It's not much science, but it all adds up. So we got 12 science and 24.9 uh, reputation, which isn't too bad. And then I in and decided to go with stability. Because you definitely need a little bit of stability, especially when you get to where you're trying to get up into orbit. Now with this one, I was trying to test out the LV-909 liquid fuel engine, but with a lot of these it's really hard to get all of your parameters lined up at one time. You may have altitude correct, but you end up missing out on your speed and stuff like that. But I had a backup with this. Uh, instead of testing the engine and getting that to go correctly, I went ahead and tested parachute. So I still managed to complete a contract, which was good. It's generally a good idea to try to shoot for several contracts with each flight, uh, just to maximize your ability to, uh, to be able to have one of them hit correctly. managed to not get hit by debris my way back down. And of course I'm spamming for science, just in the hopes of grabbing up new stuff that I haven't hit yet, and to clear out the parachute experiment. Now with the new Kerbal update that's coming up, the .25 update, you have to be careful about where you land because you can actually crash into the buildings and cause damage with them, which will cost you money. And of course get surface samples and all that. Another successful mission. Not as successful as I had hoped, but I'll take it. And still not enough science to get my batteries. Now I'm going to try it for another attempt to get my liquid rocket test in. I've also got a Separatron 1 set up I want to try for. Figured between the two, I would get something. So as we go up, we can see you got everything stacked into place. Just wait on one last parameter. There we go. Now we're going to look for establishing the separatron test, which we're close with that but we never can seem to get uh, speed and altitude 
to line up completely, which is something that will have to be tweaked later. science and recovery. And we see what we got from that. Now I've got a, another flight coming up. I'm going to test a radio mount parachute. I had to load it up pretty well just to get the speed correct. So that goes pretty well. It's always fun to see your early stages flying past as you're coming back down. flight so we get to come down in a little bit different biome which will help us spam for a little bit more science. This should be the one that makes all the difference. So now we can go in and get the batteries and the Science Junior, which is going to help out quite a bit. back with another attempt at doing the Separatron 1 test. Now one of the things I'm having to watch is I need to get my altitude up but I have to keep the speed down. So I'm having to kind of adjust my speed to make sure I get up to speed. Uh, by the time I hit the correct altitude but I don't go too far with it. Success. There we go. And then I dial it back up to get as much height as possible. I wanted to make sure that I was facing sideways before I blew off the last stage there to keep it from crashing back into the capsule. Just a little bit paranoid after finishing a contract there. And the EVA report brings in a little bit of science. Can't get a good crew report. I think it's safe to say I've got some pretty good designs going to get me up to the edge of space. So it won't be long before I'll be doing some orbiting. And then it's just a matter of getting up the funds to be able to finance a trip to the moon. Which I'm kind of in a rush to get to the moon, but I prefer Minmus over the moon just for ease of landing. So I guess this is going to be the last mission for this episode. I don't want to go too long with this. Anyway, thanks for checking it out. Should have a little bit more grindage, and then we should be pulling off some pretty interesting stuff. <laughs>